Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our third On Point Weekly webinar, um, Laser Training Webinar. Again, I'm here with Nigel and myself, Carl, and we look forward to welcoming you all back on. And, and those, that, if you're the first time to join, well, there is the recordings, the last ones you can check out, which will have a link, another link for them at the end of this one as well. So. so week three, what we're going to cover off in this week is a quick overview of last week for those that missed out, um, just of what we went through, each product quickly. Um, and then we're going to cover off on the LX25D range, the LX3D range, and then the line laser receivers. So. We, um, if you've got any questions about any of these products and we don't cover off as we go along, put in the Q&A um, and we'll hope to answer them as we go along. All right, so obviously this good quote here from Benjamin Franklin, investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So we want to thank everyone for taking the time out of their own time to invest in learning something about this category and we want to really give you guys the confidence and the confidence to take away a, a really good learn learning through this series of how to match the best laser to the best application to help you take this category, um, increase the category in your, in your, in your stores. So. Week two overview, we covered off last week on the following products, which is the LX11, which is more of the tile square for cross line set out on the floor. So it gives you a 90 degree set out on the floor. The IMAX the L L2G, little mini cross line laser in the green. So that's great for just your DIY type projects, cross line horizontal or vertical line. And then the IMAX LX22 range, which is your more trade-based cross-line laser with your pumps put up and down for doing your, you know, for transfers from floor to ceiling. So that's, and that's in both the red and the green beam version of that. So there's a little bit more as you can go back and check that out, so. So the LX25P range, so this is the next one up from the LX22. Um, so it's basically a cross-line laser with your pump spot up and pump spot down. But now what you have is five dots, so you've got two extra dots out the side, so at each side you've got one dot, and then a dot out the back, as well as your plumb spot up and plumb spot down. Um, the reason for these dots, these dots out the side are perfect 90 degree dots to the cross line at the front, to the cross at the front, as well as 90 degrees to the back dot. Um, so it's ideal for, square, for squaring up, square set outs and all that sort of thing. Um, now with a dot, Basically what it is, you see a dot a lot further than you will a line, because basically what a dot is, is a line that's compressed, so it's into a dot. Um, so that's basically, so for small outdoor jobs, you'll get a lot longer distance visibly, uh, especially in shaded areas and under cover. But they are really, for your builder, but say um, for their three, four, fives, they can use that use those dots as to square up in, in a more of a daylight application. So again, the 25 comes in a red beam and a green beam version. So you've got the LX25P, which is red, LX25GP, which is the green beam version. Five, five dots and a cross line. Um, they've got a very heavy duty magnetic bracket for, um, to put on a, against posts or any other steel object. Um, and an interesting point with with the cross line and the dots is that the, the line and the dots bisect. So basically what it does, what that means is that you can level off the dots with the line. So you, if there's, it's a continuous beam right around. So you, the line's getting about 200 degrees instead of about 170, which you get on the, on the LX22. So again, Two millimetre accuracy plus or minus over 10 metres. You've got your three year warranty, calibration certificate and can be recalibrated at any time. Um, so basic, hopefully you get a basic understanding of the LX25P. If there is anything more you need to know, put in the Q&A and we'll be happy to help you out. Alright, so moving on to the LX3D G range, LX3D range. So we've got two models, the LX3D G, which is the one I've got here, which is in the green beam version, and we've got the LX3DR, which is the red beam version. So these units, they, they all, all the all the line lasers have a a, um, a lockable pendulum, so it swings, which, so they're fully self leveling. So at the 25 per the lock on the side, 3DG, unlock it, that then levels itself up. So one button function on both these units here. On you got your full 360 horizontal line. And then you've got two vertical lines, full 360 at 90 degrees, so as you can see in the box there on, in the, on the screen. 
Basically what you're doing is you're splitting your room into quarters. So you've marked all your 90 degrees, you've got 90s on the floor, you've got your full levels right round, and you've got your, and you, you can, um, your transfers for the ceiling as well. So with this unit, it comes with a different sort of bracket system. So it's got a, an L-shaped bracket system, which is magnetic on the back, can be mounted to a tripod as well, or a floor to ceiling pole. And then also you can then hang it on a wall or a nail or whatever, a screw. And then it has a second part of the bracket is for doing, for. Um, ceiling, um, suspended ceiling, so you can actually clip it straight onto the, onto the furring channel, and then that way you can man it up high to do that sort of work as well. So it also then comes on with this unit, so it's a, as I said, it's a one button function, so you can go through your modes, so you can just use just your horizontal or just one vertical as well, all on the side. Comes with the batteries in this unit, so all of our other lasers we've mentioned and covered off so far, line lasers, all run on AA batteries. The LX3DG, has a lithium rich iron 8 amp hour rechargeable battery. Now, this unit, so the battery's in the base in here, so you literally unclip it, the battery will come out, and then what you have as well as a backup, you have an alkaline battery pack which you can put your alkaline batteries in. So this way you can charge your rechargeable batteries in the side by USB, and then with your alkaline pack, you then got your double A batteries, which you can then put that in as a bit of a backup, you know, when you're out on the site. So pop that in, and then you've got that as your, as your backup as well. So that way they can really help you out with that extra battery option if you're on site and you haven't got power as well. So again, three year warranty on this unit, a calibration certificate, and it can be recalibrated. That's a really, that's a major part in when you're actually discussing this with a, with a builder or with a customer is the fact that it can be recalibrated so if it gets dropped or bumped we have a full pass as well. Best application of this is for general building work for doing your, again, all your internal set outs in 90 degrees, kitchen cabinet makers, your tilers, plasters, electricians, anyone doing more internal and then again it can be then matched as we just mentioned now with the detector. So hopefully that covers most of it on the LX3DG. Obviously it's the ultimate laser for the internal line lasers for internal use so it pretty much puts all the units into one, so you're becoming more and more popular. Um, it's a lot more popular than the, than the red beam because the fact that you can go this far and then you get the lithium recharge battery really helps you um, with your power, with your optimal power. So, yep. So um, with the light, with the line lasers, I mean, we mentioned it earlier in one of the earlier webinars, but they all can be used with the line laser detector for outdoor use. So depending on the light, um, you can get up to 80 metres outdoors with the detector. So this is when you, the lines disappeared, you can't see the line because it, as we mentioned, when the sun hits the, a laser beam, um, the laser will disperse. Uh, so the line laser receiver will be able to pick it up, it can pick it up on the verticals, pick it up on the horizontals, and it gives you an up and down and level mode. So. You've got two receivers for line lasers, the LDG1 and the LDR1. Um, I'm sure that's obvious. The LDG means green beam, which you'll see down on the screen. That's, got, that's the LDG we've got on the screen. It's got a green strip down the side, so that's for green beam line lasers. Um, the LDR1 will have a red strip down there, and that will be for red beam line lasers. So basically, the point is that you can't use a green beam line laser with a red beam line laser receiver and vice versa. So green for green, red for red. Um, pretty obvious, but it is something we should mention. The other point on that too is that with the line laser receivers, you can't use a line laser receiver on a rotating laser and you can't use a rotating laser receiver. So if you've got a rotary laser and you buy a line laser, you can't use the rotary laser receiver on a line laser. They work on a different frequency as well. So that's just a good point, good one to know when they want to match that with the receiver. I've got a receiver with my rotary laser and I just use that. No, you can't, it works on a different frequency. So just keep that in mind as well. Yeah, very good point, so, very good point. Um, yeah, so you know, with this 45 mil pickup, so a nice big pickup, a large LCD screen, really good visibility. Um, and again, up to 80 metres outdoors, depending on the light. So the LDG1 for your green beams, so the L LX22G, your LX25GP and your LX3DG. And the LDR1, the red beam version of it, is for your LX22s, your LX25P in the red, and your LX3DR red beam. So trust that helps. If you've got any questions about receivers, put them in the Q&A and we'll be 
put little plants in as we go. All right, so we had a couple of questions come in. Um, one good one is, what sort of range can you get out of your line loads? Now, we've had this come up before in our previous webinars, but we'll just touch on it again now. So obviously, green beam is three to four times brighter than human eye than is a red beam, so you definitely be able to see it more. Um, as Ma Nigel mentioned with the dots, you can see the dots for a lot, a lot further, but for general work with the line lasers, so depending on the light, so you're gonna get your, um, between, uh, on a red beam, some of that, depending on the light, so say five to 15, say 20 meters in darker areas with the green beam, that's ideal then for your larger, brighter areas, so you've got a, a good range of up to 30 meters in, internally with the green beam over against, the, with a red beam, so. Um, another thing to mention too is that you do get um, your little target plate, which then can help take it a little bit further if you don't have it. If you don't have a technical area, so yeah. So um, what other questions have you got there? Um, what do you use laser glasses for? Good point. We haven't touched on laser glasses yet. Um, so laser glasses are basically you can get a red, red laser glasses or green laser glasses. Um, so a lot of people ask the question, is, is that going to protect our eyes when we're using the, when we're using the lasers? Um, no, it's not. It's actually going to enhance the beam. So like we said earlier, that the majority of laser levels on the market now are a class two laser level. Um, so this means basically like looking at the sun. So a quick flash of the of the beam, it won't affect your eyes, it won't affect your vis visibility or do any damage, unless you really start to stare at it. That's when you'll see the damage. So laser glasses aren't there to protect you for, in any way from the laser beam, so still don't go and stare at the laser beam while having the glasses on. What they will do is enhance the beam, so up to about two to three times more visibility when you've got the laser glasses on. Um, so in a really light condition, so you're in a really in a big warehouse or something, you're using a line laser to do some set out work. Um, you can't quite see the beam. You put your glasses on, and you should you should pick up the beam a lot easier. And then when you use it, use them with the target plate as well. So that target plate does the same thing, enhances the beam by about two times. So you use the target plate and the and the glasses, and that will enhance the beam in the brighter conditions. So yeah, good good question and um, hopefully that helps out there. Yeah, um, just another question, we, so I think we might have touched on and covered it, but we'll make it nice and clear for you, is um, what batteries do they run on? So as we just mentioned before, all your um, line loads in the LX11 to your 25 please all run on just AA batteries. You can run rechargeable batteries, little rechargeable double A's in them, there is no spot to charge them from the unit, but you can use rechargeable batteries with it to get a bit more longevity out of your batteries. LX3D, you're going, to use, you're going to use it predominantly with your lithium rechargeable 80 amp hour battery, and then you've got your alkaline battery pack like we mentioned as a backup as well. So hopefully that covers it off um, on that. Some questions that you will, just while we you know, help you out a bit, you are going to get asked um, in the stories again, in the, in the grounds, the calibration and the service. Um, just make sure that they, you're very clear the fact that, yes, all of the tools can be serviced and calibrated, and they all come with the calibration to be from your 22R standard with the calibration. That'll get them onto any government sites as well. So they're all checked properly. So hopefully that just gives you a bit more clarity on that as well. But just remember, we were discussing the other day about the little green book we have online. Make sure you um, keep keep that at the um, in front of you. You keep referring to that because that's going to really help you understand. And then as we move into the rotary laser, it's going to add another whole dimension to it all together. So I want to be able to really help you out there. So hopefully you got something from today's um, one. I haven't got any other questions unless anyone wants to flip one through to us now. But yeah, just pop it in there, we'll start to move on now. So if you have any other questions, put them in next week, more than happy. Or send us a quick email as well, or give us a phone call, happy to help. Thanks for joining again. Um, we're getting some really good interest and really good feedback out of these webinars, and we hope you're all seeing some, getting some great insights. Um, if you have any feedback, please flick us an email, let us know anything we, we can improve on or we can be clearer on. Um, and we'd like to say thank you for taking the time to um, come and join us this morning.